As I speak these words, uh, Nat Henhoff is approaching his 84th birthday. Uh, if anybody's ever had a well-spent life, it's Nat Henhoff. Nat Henhoff, for years, the great civil libertarian writer, has covered everybody from Bob Dylan. He wrote the liner notes for one of Bob Dylan's albums. He was friend with Malcolm X. Uh, he actually uh, covered the, the descent of Lenny Bruce when the people were attacking Lenny Bruce for his uh, tactics he used on stage, really to prod people to think. So Nat Henhoff has known a lot of people. Uh, he's a great jazz writer, but I think what Nat Henhoff is really going to be remembered for is how he has uh, as I say in the commentary on our website at Rutherford.org, he never lost his sense of rage. And what I mean by that, it's not that he stands around and stammers or yells and screams. No, it's his rage about the loss of freedom in America, which any civil libertarian today is concerned about. And let me tell you, if you want to know a real radical, and I hear some people say they're radicals, but I would say that probably Nat Henhoff is the most radical person I've ever known. And let me uh, read you his own words. This is what he says about himself. My lies is a radical according to the FBI, an enslaver of women according to pro-choicers, a suspiciously unpredictable civil libertarian according to the ACLU, a dangerous defender of alleged pornography according to my friend Catherine McKinnon, an irrelevant and an anarchistic integrationist according to assorted black nationalists, and as an editor at the Washington Post once said, not unkindly, a general pain in the ass. Let me tell you, that, in my opinion, uh, describes Nat Henhoff, someone I've known for over 20 years now. Nat is probably the most consistent human being in terms of what he believes and what he says. Uh, in his numerous commentaries in defending every particular issue out there, I would say Nat Henhoff hits the center on the most crucial issues of today. Uh, when it was not fashionable years ago to be against abortion, Nat Henhoff took a stand. And believe it or not, this is the fellow who describes himself again as uh, a Jewish atheist, civil libertarian, and then finally a left-wing pro-lifer. A left-wing pro-lifer. Nat once told me that when he first came out against abortion and became a pro-lifer, the women at uh, the, the Village Voice where he worked stopped talking to him. But this is the kind of person, principal person, that makes a difference in the world. And that really sums up Nat Henhoff. When Nat Henhoff took his controversial stand on being pro-life, uh, ACLU affiliates around the country uh, started canceling speaking engagements where he was there to speak at their functions. Uh, and later he disaffiliated with ACLU, but after post 9-11 and uh, the ACLU started fighting Bush tooth to tooth, which was really good, uh, Henhoff reaffiliated with the ACLU. When I was being attacked during the days of my lawsuit against President Clinton and the Paula Jones case, uh, as being this right-wing conspiratorial fellow and all this, Nat Henhoff actually wrote a column in the Washington Post defending me. Uh, he knew right well, again, how it feels to be under the gun because of what you believe, even though you're standing up for the freedoms for all Americans. For 50 years, Nat Henhoff wrote a weekly column for the Village Voice. In December 2008, he was let go. Uh, when I read that, I knew that a great publication that has stood for so many things had gone downhill. In fact, that day, I sent Nat Henhoff a letter saying, these people have no class. And what I meant by that is you don't let go an institution that's still vibrant and writing. One year on his birthday several years ago, I believe he was 81 or 80 years old, uh, Nat Henhoff called and we talked. And I said, Nat, it's your birthday. Are you going to celebrate it? And he goes, with champagne, cake? You know what he said to me? No. Today, I'm too busy to fight for civil liberties. So that sums it up. If we're going to have a free America, we have to remember guys like Nat Henhoff, A, and we have to emulate them and never lose our sense of rage.